Did Sarasota Tim purchase a second trailer? And Tater loses to the mobile gambler. Well, it's no surprise that we all know how Tater is, what kind of person he is. So, yes, he is still hanging out with and supporting and endorsing. And uh, you're telling everybody about his good old buddy, Randy, the mobile gambler. Oh, yeah, good old Tater. I guess I guess you got to be friends with some damn buddy. little party at the spot with a nice campfire. Everybody bundled up for the, the cold wind, staying close, listening Burr. to the music, and just having a good night. Yeah. We've had a lot of good fires out here in the desert. At the spot. And a few of us got together and decided we were going to play some oh, No yeah. Limit Texas Hold'em. Five dollar right. buy-ins. We had four of us. Oh, I did pretty good until Oops. I didn't do good. <laughs> yeah, who it's fun won? time, though. It always is. Who won? Tell us who won. All right. Who won that uh, poker tournament last night, Wayne? Randy did. Randy. Randy pulled it out. It was between Wayne and Randy at the very... Randy did. Well, yeah, the compulsive gambler's going to win every time. You kids should know that by now. Come on. Never get into a, a gambling situation with a guy like that. But, again, Tater's a little bit lax on the on the friend thing, so you, you got to take what you can get. And if hanging at the spot with those losers is all you got, that's all you got. So... There you go. Let's move on to Sarasota Tim. Well, let's start out with this little tidbit. <laughs> I thought it was funny because Tim says, well, you guys know I did, you know. <laughs> well, here, let's just do it. You guys know I bought a generator, right? You guys know I took a generator back. You guys know I bought another generator. And, and you guys know I took that generator back and got a bigger generator. <laughs> Well, of course we do, Tim. Of course we know all that. You know why? Because you record every fucking breath you take. How could people not know everything that you do? Every single minute of every day is just recorded <laughs> and stuck on YouTube forever. Oh, well, Tim looked at a small little teardrop. You know how we know? Because, of course, we recorded every damn minute of it. Uh, said he's going to buy it. Uh, where's the homeless wonder going to park two trailers? Uh, I mean, who's he going to burden that shit with? You got to admit, I mean, I will say this. Look, he has got some people that got nothing to do and all damn day to do it. If they can watch him go to Walmart to buy bananas and lunch meat and then watch him go back to Walmart later the same day, to buy a grill. <laughs> I mean, he's doing something, right? <laughs> oh, man. If they can watch and tune in to see him get ready to sleep in his truck and say, who needs a Hilton? Then watch another video <laughs> the next day saying, sleeping in a truck sucks. First, it's like, hey, this is awesome. Look at this. I got this and I can do this and I can turn the light down and hey, who needs a Hilton? I got everything here. I got my little shitty blanket and my shitty pillow. And then the next day, yeah, this, this sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but if they can watch him do that, he's got some good people, right? If he has people that will spend hours and hours every day watching multiple videos of him yabbering on and on and on <laughs> about nothing. Well, they got as much to do during the day as he does. All I got to say is this. If uh, sleeping in your truck in a parking lot is crushing it, now I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm perfectly fine and content not being a crusher. But really this, if you have a travel trailer and are buying another trailer, why in the hell are you sleeping in a damn truck? If you follow Tim's advice, you too can be sleeping in a truck in a parking lot. Now I want to address some people that say constantly that uh, I never leave the studio. Well, first of all, how the hell do you know what I do? And do you say, Jay Leno never left the studio? Did you, do you say, Jimmy Fallon never leaves the studio? 
do you say that your local news anchor never leaves the studio? Sure, it may take me a little bit longer to actually film and, uh, you know, get everything ready and actually edit my videos and upload them than it does Sarasota Tim to just point and shoot, but it still doesn't take me all damn day. You see a tiny little snippet out of my entire day. How do you know what the hell I do? And I'm not like Sarasota Tim. I don't film and post every waking fucking hour. I don't post, hi, I'm awake. I'll see you in a half hour when I take my first morning shit. I'll post again in an hour when I tell you I'm at the gym parking lot. And then I'll post, I'm buying bananas and lunch meat at Walmart. And an hour later, I'm back at Walmart. And then 20 minutes after that, I'm in the crusher driving and putting eye drops in. Yeah, I, I don't do that. And then five minutes after that, I'm going to Bucky's again. <laughs> oh, no, you, you don't know what I do because <laughs> uh, I'm not posting every single thing. Tim posts mundane, boring bullshit. YouTube doesn't need to know what I do in my personal life every single second. And you know why? Because contrary to popular belief, my life is just fine. I don't need to tell you every single detail of my life. I don't feel the need to tell you about every doctor visit and every bill I pay. Unlike other YouTubers, I don't look for your handouts and don't crave your sympathy. So therefore, I don't, oh, I had to go to the doctor today. Oh, oh, please send me money. My copay might be more than $5. Or, oh, I just bought this today. Oh, it was pretty expensive. I don't know. Or, oh, my eye hurts today. Yeah. No, no. The other thing is I'm fucking blind and I can't drive. Therefore, I just don't drive around talking about dumb shit while filming myself driving. You know, I don't record myself at the range. I don't show, you know, you, myself at my daughter's house. I don't film me taking out the trash and, or shoveling the snow. Woo, boy, wouldn't that be fucking exciting content? My viewers, yeah, my viewers have lives. Uh, they would not tolerate me posting seven to ten times a day going, uh, I took a shit. I'll see you in five more minutes. I'm going to go down and get my coffee now. And then, hey, coffee's done. Hey, let me sit down here and talk to you while I do nothing because I'm so fucking bored and lonely. I have to talk into a camera all fucking day long. No. I mean, hey, I, I could, but no one would watch. No, wait a minute. Time out. I take that back. I could never. I mean, I'm creative, but who the hell has that much content to be posting six times a day? What could you possibly be doing that is that interesting? What could you possibly have to say that you haven't said 50 times before last week? It's impossible. And then there's that, and uh, I'm not that fucking self-absorbed. On top of that, my subscribers aren't so feeble-minded. Even though I've posted five times today, and the last post was only 10 minutes ago, I have to keep saying, hi, Sarasota Tim, to remind everybody who the hell I am. So you can think I never leave my studio. I, I, I really don't give a shit. If that's what makes you happy, then who? That's right. Who am I to deprive you of what little joy you actually have left in your pathetic life? Yeah, this is Blind Views. And that's the way I see it. Oh, yeah. What we do here is go back, 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 back.